Okay, hi everybody. Um, thanks for watching the introductory video uh, on how to use Tinkercad. It should, it should give you all the basic skills you need to customize um, the new chassis that you're looking at, that you're going to work on. What I've got in front of me right here is the STL file for the chassis that you were given in your box, right? So what I wanted to demonstrate for you today is a quick and easy way to uh, change this particular this particular STL file to uh, uh, to, to alter it uh, in a way that you might like. Uh, and I'm just going to give you a couple of examples. Uh, but what I, I want to stress, if you also uh, do something like I'm going to do, um, there's a couple of important features here on this design. I'm, I'm looking at these holes right here. Um, these holes right here, this indentation, this hole, this indentation. Now, these things are here right now uh, to, uh, to attach. These are here for your DC motors. This is to attach your real, uh, the rear omni wheel. So to make this exercise as easy as possible, if we can just eliminate, stop, don't do anything. Do not change this area at all, uh, these holes at all, then uh, we'll be We'll be in business here, but let's just let's just do something here, right? Um, what do you say? I don't like the front of this. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring. I want to get rid of that that front piece right here. So what I'm going to do is I grab the corner of it, right? And you notice I grabbed the whole the box. It says whole the uh, box. And it's it's in the whole format, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make sure I'm going to line it, make sure it goes all the way through the image, right? So it's in the hole. So what we need to do uh, to make this, to lop this section off, simply go like this, highlight both of them. We group them. Boom. Look, we've just chopped the, the, the front part of this robot off in, in a quick and easy fashion. All right, so that's one way. You just you can you can lop off chunks of this thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take I'm going to put my initials in this thing, right? So I'm going to take the text tool over here, something like this, and I'm going to do something like this. This is I'm, I'm going to put my my initials in this thing, right? And I'm going to click the hold button because I don't want it as an object. And let's just see if this goes all the way through. I don't know as if it does. I think it does, but let's just see now. Okay, so let's group the objects together. And let's group them. So there it is. We have a hole. We have a, I have a computer, I have a robot chassis with my initials and I've lopped off the front of it. So here's just two quick and easy ways that you can personalize this. Uh, you may want to add um, a front part of this so it's triangular in front. You may want to add it so it's uh, a concave shape. But with these, with these shapes right here, this is, you can do pretty much whatever you want. Uh, but but uh, but feel free to ask me if you need any assistance uh, with achieving your vision. But here are just two quick and easy ways, examples. Again, reach out to me if you have any questions.